right guys, so here's a little bit of fake Louis Vuitton 101, okay? Well, other than just completely telling it's fake because of the plastic trim, genuine Louis Vuitton will never ever have this little tag on it, especially with the, I guess that's Chinese writing. Um, this is all plastic. It'll never have this plastic covering on it. This, which is supposed to be the cut of leather, would never be the cut. Would never be fake plastic. And they're asking ninety dollars for this, and it's actually a really bad fake. And here's another one that's a really bad fake. It's plastic. The whole entire bag is plastic. Um, I mean, this material is supposed to be a velour like material and it's just a very very cheap stuff that you can tell is going to start peeling real soon i don't even know what kind of material it is again you've got your fake tag on here and they're asking 130 dollars for this uh, it's a very cheap kind of a plastic like you'd find at Something maybe off of Timu, that kind of a plastic bag. Um, it's got a little pouch with it, and it's just, it's really bad, really, really bad. Then up here, you do have an authentic coach. I'm not sure the name of it, but it's definitely authentic. Um, I just know, I used to work at Coach years and years ago, so I can tell them right away. They want 70 for it, but, Although it's got a really nice little top handle, it's missing, I believe, the crossbody strap. Let me check inside. Here's the tag, if you wanna look up what kind of purse it is. So it is a factory bag, and I'll show you I know that because it's got an F. It starts on the number right there. That means it's factory. So there's that. Um, huh. A very, very fake YSL. It is bad shape. The chain is extremely cheap, very lightweight. Uh, the YSL on the front has fallen off. You can see the little holes on it. And the price on this is... 80 bucks, okay? This too is plastic. PU, which means polyurethane, vegan leather, whatever you wanna call it. Over here we have a, so I don't remember I've hearing this brand before. Um, it's, hmm, this is a good trickery one here. I, it almost feels like leather, but I don't wanna say for sure. I don't see any type of label on the inside saying that it is leather. This is a definite cheap satin-esque material. It's in great shape and they want $40. So you be the judge of that one if you think it's worth it or not. Okay, over here next to it we have a Alice in Wonderland, Disney Alice in Wonderland little bag. They want $80 for this. And is it Loungefly? Loungefly is always worth more than the Disney brand itself. It is not Loungefly. It's just by Disney. Probably from the Disney shops at Disneyland or Disney World. It's in great condition and they're asking $80, which is too much. All right, down here, we've got a fake Dooney and Burke. Kim, how do you know it's fake? Because, let me show you. The entire trim, it looks like it has nice leather wear on it or whatever. It's not, it's plastic. The trim on this is plastic. The inside is completely off. Um, this is actually a faux suede. Here's the inside, very cheaply made with plastic. Um, just a really bad plastic replica overall, and they're asking 80 for that one. 
Over here we have an authentic Marc Jacobs. It's a Mark by Marc Jacobs. Definitely real. How do I know? Because literally I've had a million of these. And um, fake Marc Jacobs are really bad shape. If, if it's a fake, I would let you know this one. Um, but it's real. It does not have a crossbody strap to it. They are asking $80 for this one. Not bad, but I wouldn't pay $80 for resale. $80 is great if you want to come purchase it for yourself, but definitely not for resale. So that is that part of the bags. So let's walk over here and see what else. Okay, here's an authentic coach. They want 80 for this. Uh, this is a Mark New York. This is sold by Ross, okay? Ross sells these for $29.99. And again, it's plastic. So I'm not sure what they're thinking here. Maybe they're thinking it's a Marc Jacobs, but it's definitely um, a $30 bag and they're selling it here, brand new $30 in here. They're selling it used for $80. Uh, guess. A real guess for 70 bucks. And um, yeah, I don't understand why. Should be priced at about $15, I'd say. $14.99, 15 bucks. Here is another one. And if I remember correctly, this one's got a broken hook on the back. One of the little screws is missing on the back. It's a super cute purse, I think. And they want $25, and it is broken. Oh man, okay, $70 for this coach. That's, that's even more than a, most resellers would sell it for. So it is real. Um, it's just your basic factory outlet signature C. This is from the Soho collection because of the big buckle on it. And yeah, they want $70, $70 for this guy. Then down here is a black that's extremely sun-worn. They're asking for $70 on this one. I say sun-worn because this is supposed to be jet black and it's very faded, kind of a light, kind of a brownish color. Really bad shape. $70. This is also from the Soho collection. See the big buckle on it? That means it's from the Soho collection. It is a factory bag. Um, so you probably, at the time this was brand new, Hey, brand new, about 80 bucks, uh, about $80. So, um, yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Let's go over here and see what they've got on the rack and what their prices are. So here you have a torn up, really cute tote at one time and I'm sure it has some sort of little rhinestones or turquoise or something on the cross. It is by American Bling. Ten bucks. So if you wanted to take that and then just like re have it yourself, that'd be worth it. These are really nice bags, the Joy and Iman. Um, I love the organization on them. They're asking $10 for it. Now, I, oops, I don't believe, I don't believe it's genuine leather, but these bags are really cool. I've sold them in the past. Don't know if I'd be able to sell them now. Hey! Don't know if I'd be able to sell them now. Okay, so back to this bag. It is um, polyurethane. P-U means polyurethane. A uh, fancy word for polyurethane would be vegan. Plastic would be... Uh, a fancy name for All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this back. Cool bag, lots of organization, but I know lots of my lovelies, you guys prefer all leather, so I'm gonna put it back. Very cute bag, though. I'm trying to be as picky as I can, um, not just grab anything that looks great. I wanna get the best I can for you guys, so. 
if I do have a certain vegan, certain vegan watchers, please let me know. And I will definitely keep an eye out for certain things for you. Let me know in the description box below, not the description, let me know in the comment section below exactly what you're looking for right now. And if I find it, I can pick it up. If the price matches yours and my budget. But there's just kind of a lot of crapola here today. Nothing too wonderful. Um, there's this Michael Kors. I'm not going to get it though. Because it definitely has... That's actually wear, not dirt. And then I don't know how, or I don't have time actually, I should say, to refurbish the paint on the leather. So we're going to go ahead and keep that here. Then we have this coach bag here. And I'm going to pass. There's this Kate Spade down here. And I'm gonna pass on that one. This coach. I don't wanna get the same stuff all the time, you know? I wanna switch it up. So, if I find something different than I usually get, and it's a brand, I'll get it. But you guys know, I'm also getting bags, just really nice leather bags that aren't like coach, Kate Spade, so on and so forth, if I can find beautiful leather for you guys. Because I think everybody can enjoy a really nice uh, leather. It doesn't have to be name brand. That's cute. They want $25 for that, and it must be the sack. It is the sack, but it's really cute. Let's see. I like the little design uh, on it. It's jet black. And I also go by what I have in stock already. And if it's not something that purchases, that, that uh, sells well, then I won't re rebuy the brand. Like the sack crochet bag, I have one at home, but it hasn't sold, so I won't be repurchasing until I see that there's, you know, a need for it or want for it. So that's going back. A lot of Steve Madden. None of the TikTok exclusives, though. Here is a very, a very fake Fendi. And another one. Eesh. The plastic on this is not too good. <laughs> and it's from the secret. New York and Company. Cute little bitty tiny juicy crossbody. I did pick up something in my basket here for you and I will show it to you when we get out to the car. This is from a wallet. It's a coach checkbook cover. This definitely came out of a wallet. I don't see the wallet though. These were pretty popular. I sold quite a few of these back in the day. The Elliot Luca little phone holder when the little tiny phones were in. Okay, you guys, it's haul time. You know what? I've been wearing no makeup lately, meaning no foundation, and I'm absolutely loving the no makeup look. I love, I'm, I'm really loving just, you know, I think if I look halfway decent without mascara, I even stop wearing mascara, but this is my real color hair right here, and that's my real color eyelashes, so ain't happening, but um, I'm really loving the no makeup. Okay, 
just had to say that. All right, you guys, it's a very small haul, but it's a very nice one indeed. These items are going to be listed below in the description box for sale to pay, th pay through PayPal, okay? No exchanges, no returns. U.S. shipping when I do my car vlogs. U.S. shipping only. So, this is a really nice Continental Wallet by Kate Spade. You guys can see it's like a double zipper. Um, so, in the first zipper pocket, it's just like a main compartment. Then there's nothing in there. But it is quite large. So, you can carry lots of stuff in here. You could probably even use this as a clutch if you wanted to. And then this side is all leather when you open it up. Of course, I'm gonna clean it all up for you, but that's all smooth leather on the inside with lots and lots of wallet compartments, zippers, pouches, card slots, ID windows, and all that goodness. So this is a really expensive wallet at one time, and I'm glad I found it for you guys because it's in really super nice condition. And it's a black pebble. Corners are in great condition, so on and so forth. Zippers work fine, no problem there. So if you want this, grab it, okay? I'm gonna have really low prices. This one is so cool. I'm a card carrier kind of gal. Um, I don't so much carry coin anymore unless I know I'm gonna be going where uh, there's a parking meter or something, but you know what, they take debit card now, so I don't know, I grabbed this because I really, really love card holders. And it's a really thick leather, raw leather, brand new, love the pink. And um, I have had these and sold them in the past. Not this, there's no name on it, not this particular one, but I've definitely had them. I know Target makes them in a, in a fake leather, in a plastic. Um, Fossil makes them, I've sold the pink ones, two of them in, in um, like browns I think but I'm gonna keep this one for my cards because I just love the pink and I love the leather and if I decide to sell it then I'll put it on the website or something and then the bag I got today is a coach and it's just a super pretty taupe pebbled leather hobo style coach um, it's got the hang tag on it light gold tone hardware the inside is dirty so I'm gonna clean it out I'm gonna get it all nice and clean for you other than just needing a little bit of washing, it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, I love the color. Um, the leather's in great condition. Hobo style, love the little hang tag on it. And then there's two zippers on the front. Really nice coach emblem. Zip top closure. And then the back, that's just gonna come right off with my leather cleaner and conditioner. So this one will be up for sale. Um, by the time you see this video, it's gonna be all clean and ready. The inside has a zipper and two open pockets. And the style number on this is, I, oh, this is not a factory bag. I can tell you that much, you guys. Oh, there's even some uh, little B&J's barbecue catering stuff cards in here. <laughs> which we do not need but here is the tag if you guys would like to look this bag up but it's beautiful a really really nice thick pebbled leather and this can be yours as well so that's all we got today because I am being pickier you guys um, I have some amazing bags coming up that I actually am selling from my collection so I went through my closet and I probably pulled a good 20, 30 to 40 purses that I'm selling that were mine and I've literally not even used because I have a problem. Just like some of you guys, I have a purse problem. So um, I want to go ahead and sell my collection. Now my collection bags are in excellent condition because I bought them brand new and I'm selling them brand new, so stay tuned for that. I think you guys will like them. Sorry about that, my sweater's falling off. But I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, and I hope you had a wonderful Memorial Weekend, and if you want any of these little items, which is either the Kate Spade bag or the purse, or both, then there you go. All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.